Alright, guys, my name is Taylor. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Today, we are continuing with the playthrough of the Resident Evil 2 Remake. This time, however, we are going to be playing the second run version of the campaign, and we're going to be playing as Leon. Uh, for the sake of not repeating information that was... That's very loud. For the sake of not repeating information that we got uh, in the last playthrough, and unintentionally making the video a bit longer. We'll be skipping any cutscenes that we've already seen in the first playthrough, which you should go and check out. There is a playlist that will be linked at the end of the video. Uh, this mainly means most of the scenes at the start of the game, and there's a few later on which I think are repeated, but from Leon's perspective, I might skip those depending on uh, how I feel about it. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's begin guys. So we're going to go for the new game, the second run. Leon S. Kennedy. This is the canon playthrough for Leon. He seems to have it much more difficult. We're playing it on the standard difficulty. Uh, if we do any challenge runs or anything later on in the game, uh, I'll either play on standard or hardcore. But for this video and for our previous playthrough, we're going to play on standard. Because my aim, A, isn't perfect. B, I think the game is difficult enough when you're recording and trying to commentate over it. And I want it to be a mix of enjoyment of playthrough and information for you guys. So we're going to go for the standard difficulty. Ooh. Uh, it's been, a, like I said in my last playthrough, guys, it has been a while since I've seen this game. Uh, especially the cutscenes, I used to just skip past them once I'd seen them once. And uh, because this is a technically a different cutscene, we're going to keep this one playing. So I'll shut up and let you let you watch it. around Go, don't shoot get down come on what the hell is going on I don't know Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Right, guys, I'm not. I hope you made it here. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I thought there would be more overlap with the cutscenes, so I guess we don't have to skip as many as I thought we did. Uh, we only have five bullets for this opening section. Should be fine though. Hopefully, I don't play as bad the as I did at the start of the last game, as I am starting on mouse and keyboard this time, whereas last time I was starting on my controller. Uh, this scene might be a bit familiar for you guys that have played the game before or watched my pre previous playthrough. Uh, in Claire's playthrough, it begins uh, well at this point in the game. Uh, you've moved around the police station a little bit and you've encountered the helicopter that crashes and you come outside. And when you come outside, this cutscene plays from another perspective. 
we see this from Claire's perspective and her playthrough. Hey, Claire. Leon, I'll be right there. Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, you don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I'm hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. Did you find your brother? I did, actually. He's... Kaboom. She didn't get us, okay. Made it through this bit without any injuries is good. I usually get bit once or twice, but you know, it's never usually too big an issue. Uh, we can now break the chain on this door. Sit, snap that. Oh, I completely missed it there. Ooh. Courtyard key. And uniform, let's go, Leon. Look at that's all armored up. Not exactly how I pictured breaking this in. Okay, so as uh, same as happened as the last time, I have played the game before, so I do have the infinite gun unlocked we won't be using it for the sake of the playthrough just because it's not canon to obviously any of the stories and this isn't a challenge run that would require a bit of it for an opening okay so we're going to what should we do okay we probably don't need that so if we do that that should work because I think all ammo that we find is for this gun, which has slightly uh, higher caliber rounds. But all the ammo we craft, like regular handgun ammo, is for the Matilda, which we just put away. The game can we start with. So it might be best to scrounge up a bunch of ammo that we find and use this stronger gun for now. Oh, crit. You love to see it. Oh, I missed that one. And he's getting back up. God damn it. Probably could do, just do this and run past them all, couldn't I? Yeah, I... As you may have realised from my last playthrough, I am a waste of ammo. I just waste it, waste it, waste it. Okay, we're going to get rid of the key to free up the inventory slot. Put that there. Go through. Pick up this board. Because we'll not probably need it. First. Okay. Is it more ammo? Okay, we're going to go in. Cut this chain. So go straight in. Hand grenade. They are very useful later on, especially in Leon's playthrough. Instantly lock that. Give me more ammo. Sit. We now have a full heal off the bat. But almost a miss there. Ok, 
Okay, gunpowder. Okay, go in here. What's this? Yellow gunpowder. Okay. Oh, uh. Do I want to... Okay. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Claire gets the grenade launcher and Leon gets the shotgun in the armory. Uh, Claire gets white ammo in order to make grenade launcher rounds. Leon gets yellow to make... in order to make uh, shotgun rounds. Leon also has access to this area over here, which is very good for us. We don't need to actually wait. I feel like we're going to be relying on the shotgun a lot this time, so I'm going to craft some shotgun rounds with that. Come in here, turn this light on. Okay, there. We don't need that. Don't need that either. I think I don't. We shouldn't need that. Um, blue herb. Is there anything in these lockers? Yeah, so guys, while I have played this game before, it's been a long time since I've paid attention to any of the details or anything like that. So, this will be an almost new playthrough for me in terms of what I remember and what I know is about. Because of that, I will basically be experiencing the game alongside you, other than major plot points, which uh, most of which we've seen from Claire's part. So you guys would have known as about as much or as mu as I have. Uh, we shouldn't need that blue herb for now. We shouldn't need that because we can just craft any later. We need this. I believe it's a fuse that we use later on. We won't save it yet, just because there hasn't been a major need to. As long as this guy doesn't, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I missed it. Oh, wait. All right. Okay, we'll just run past him. Okay, one thing I will say is that the first aid spray in here we are going to be picking up. It's like, I believe there is also steel ammo in here. Yes. Ammo is always useful, guys. Always useful. Uh... Ooh, more boards. We will definitely use those. And more ammo. Ammo is going to be very useful, guys, because as you know, my aim sometimes just sucks, and I'll miss three to five bullets at once. Okay, as long as none of these guys are back up. Okay, well he is. We're just gonna slip past him. Act like no, things wrong. You know, we're just a normal guy going through a police station. Okay, open the door. Electrical part. Boop boop. you love to see it. Okay, crit, perfect. Uh, Marvin, no! He's not dead. Because Leon, just like Claire, gives a line of dialogue when he does. Or at least I thought he did. He might still be alive, actually. I've also heard a rumour that when you aim, if you let the crosshair come to a point like that, it does more damage. Which might be true, considering we just got a crit that time. 
So if we have the time to do it, I will be trying to do that, and hopefully my aim will not fail me. Okay, uh, oh yeah, we can see this bit, don't we? Something tells me he's not a cop. So for those of you that don't know, Mr. X is a much bigger part in Leon's playthrough. So we have that to enjoy. Uh, I'm not sure if it's meant to be the same tyrant or if it's uh, meant to be a different one just because the, re the endings of how a tyrant dies are slightly different at the end of the game. But uh, I'm going to presume for now they're meant to be the same person. Or same... Or same being. I thought my footsteps were his footsteps then. Um, so no, we haven't come across that yet so I won't use the code that I already have. Uh, yeah, we went over that in the last time. So there shouldn't be as many documents that we need to grab this time. Yeah, I knew Marvin wasn't dead, and that's the proof. We haven't got the knife yet either, so we can't knife him to death. Uh, why don't we leave him for now? So uh, all the codes for the, the statues and stuff, they're all different as well this time. Obviously the storage box isn't there, so this isn't a safe room. You know, there's just like general things like that that have changed. Okay, we'll take that ammo. I'm going to empty my storage space in the safe room that way. Assuming we don't immediately run into Mr. X, this shouldn't be a problem. If we do, we should be able to avoid him just by running through the room but as long as we don't run into him in a doorway okay yeah as long as he's not here then yeah we should be fine okay uh, okay we'll go in here love a safe room okay put that away put that away put that away Combine that with that, put it away. So we don't want to be carrying heavy. The round handle we can use straight away to turn off the gas in the locker room. The wooden boards we'll need for the corridor we're about to go into, the cutting door, the cutting tool is the same with the door. Uh, I'm going to save it. So these top through top two uh, save files will be the save files for the playthrough that you guys will be watching. Hopefully you'll be enjoying this playthrough as well. Uh, I know I'm not the best at commentating. I, I also almost got bitten. That guy's still alive. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm not the best at commentating. I'm obviously new to this whole YouTube thing. Uh, I don't in imagine I'll ever get any success off of it. This is meant to just be a nice small enjoying games hopefully some people will enjoy them alongside even if you just let the video play in the background or you just want something to listen to that's more than fine with me what in the so that was a liquor right off the bat I don't remember if there is a liquor in this hallway or not though Well, it appears there is. Um, if we just just walk, shouldn't be an issue. We may have to run if there's a zombie here, though. Okay, no, we can just walk past this bit. And then, if we have to shoot a zombie around this corner, we should be fast enough to escape the liquor, which I think stops just through that door. Okay. Okay. That was relatively painless. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the same document as last time. It's just explaining why the police station is such a mess. Uh, there is a dog barking in the background, so if you can hear that, I do apologise. Okay, go through here. Pick up the gadget 
we can get rid of that now, free up some inventory. Uh, locker room code off the bat, which means I don't have to worry about not using it. Should we go back and block that window? No, no, we'll, we'll save it for now. Because Leon has more windows that he goes past, so we might have to use them later on. So if we try and hopefully we'll get a crit on this. We didn't, okay. There should hopefully be ammo this way though. Yep. This guy's always good for ammo. Uh okay. No no. No no. Oh I miss his head. Don't you try and pretend to be dead. Okay, well, I'm not going to waste any more bullets. Um, what have we got in here? Okay, if I remember rightly, it's 106. Yep, for the house, just film. And then 109. Ammo, okay, we'll take ammo, we love a bit of ammo. We'll take the film for now. It, do it doesn't ever really come in handy. Simply because, you know, a lot of the stuff on the film is just items you will naturally come across if you're exploring everything. Him. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that dude on the desk. Ammo. Yes, as I said, guys, uh, because Leon gets different gunpowders because he has different guns, uh, instead of the grenade launcher rounds and machine gun ammo, it's shotgun shells and magnum ammo. Okay. Uh, I believe the safe code is the same. Um, yes, so we'll because we know it from the last playthrough, I will use it now. It is 9, 15, oh, I didn't count. Uh, and 7. Hopefully, okay. I wasn't sure I counted that right because I wasn't counting while I was saying a word 15. Okay, that's a bit more storage. That guy didn't get up, that's ideal. He read that last time, but you know, hey ho. Uh, okay, this, the answer to this is the same as well. Obviously, you know it from the last playthrough, so I'm not going to bother to show you how to answer it. Uh, and then it's M R G, Mr. G. Open this. And now, uh, oh wait, you do have storage space. That gives us an upgrade for the Matilda, the gun we start with. So, if you don't know, this gun is the M19. It's stronger than the Matilda until the Matilda starts to get upgraded. We're just going to run by that zombie. So, the Matilda gets upgraded throughout the game. You can find upgrades. Uh, whereas this gun is stronger off, stronger off the bat, but uh, is always relevant just because all the ammo you pick up is for that gun instead of the Matilda, which is which uses the normal ammo. Okay, so we get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. We have a decent amount of green sprays, uh, first aid sprays. We'll save up these wooden boards. Uh, Matilda. How much ammo do you get now? 17. 24 shot. Okay, we might, may as well keep it on us. We don't need the film. Uh, we should have a red herb in here, don't we? We haven't turned the lights on yet. We might probably be able to see what we're doing. Alright, okay. Uh, very loud musical score there. 
Right, so we now have two full heals and three extra green herbs. Do we have any more gunpowder? Well, we, like I said, we'll probably be using the shotgun quite a bit, so that's there. So we have eight, gun, eight shotgun shells and three mag uh, ammo already. Uh, we haven't found any normal ammo, because we, like I said, you don't find any of that, you have to craft it. So, since we have both guns, we're going to bring both guns. Yes, like I said, that's just uh, expanding herbs. We have an extra gunpowder. Where's this guy? Is he upstairs? He is. Okay, right. Run fast, run fast, run fast. Okay, this isn't gonna go well. I can already tell. Okay, run fast. Uh, killing them is gonna be a bit of a hassle, but hopefully. Oh, you're here as well. Son of a bitch. Oh, I thought I heard the heavy footprints of Mr. X then. That wouldn't have gone very well. Okay, we have the key. Uh, okay, if we use the Matilda. Just to get some damage off. Right, he's down again. Hopefully he stays dead. But I doubt it. That's out of ammo now. That was a crit. That was beautiful. That scared the crap out of me. Holy God. Okay. Gonna run past her. Hopefully she doesn't become an issue. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have the valve for that straight off the bat. We have the box. Yeah, so uh, the point of the second run is that to keep it interesting for the player, they move things around. Uh, Leon has access to different keys in different rooms at different times. Uh, Mr. X is more of a thing in Leon's playthrough, as we already know. Yeah, we know the code for this is cap. We can open that. This is even more shotgun rounds. This should have that guy in it. Yeah. Like I said before, I don't know if he ever wakes up, but he's never done it for me. So, we're just going to hope he doesn't wake up and make things difficult for us if we have to back through this. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure he also never gets up as well. But this could be, like I said, it's been a while since I've played the second run, so it might be a bit different. Take those shotgun shells. Let's innocently go down this hallway. Jesus Christ! So yeah, like I said, uh, things have moved around. The game happens a bit differently, and Mr. X is a much bigger role in this one. Uh, he stalks you everywhere you go. I think the only area safe for him, at least at first, is the. Uh, underground bit but then again he, he gets access to that as well so it really is quite difficult to hide from the big man this time right uh, I'm going to get as many things from here and run to the safety box flash grenade ammo we still need the stars badge ammo okay, okay so this is a Leon exclusive memo There leaves us a message. Obviously, we don't see her write a message in a cutscene or anything, but this is meant to be yeah, more of a cohesive story. Okay, so hopefully he's downstairs and not in front of us right now. As long as we don't run, he shouldn't hear us. But if we shoot our guns that aren't silenced, they shouldn't hear us either. 
if he shouldn't be through this door, yeah, he shouldn't be. Uh, and nothing's combinable yet, okay. In fact, oh, uh, uh, run, run. I didn't think he was allowed to go through the door if it was locked. Okay, just keep going, Leon. Just run, 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 run. Uh, Leon also doesn't run faster if he's injured. I'm pretty sure he runs at the same speed the entire time. So it's not even like we can we can let him hit us the once just to run faster. Hopefully that woman isn't... Yeah, she's up there. Okay, that's good. It's the guy. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Right, well, we're going to run past him, hopefully. Uh-oh. This went very bad, very quickly. Run that way. Run, Leon. Run, run, run. Whew. I'll shoot off his hat. Right. Shoot off his hat, because... Because why not, you know? He did just cause us to get hit multiple times. Okay, we don't use the first aid spray. We'll get rid of the Matilda. Uh, green herb. Green herb. That gives us two full heals. Um, pop that one away. Okay, uh, we have the battery for that. So we can go and do that. But I want to explore some rooms first. Organise this. We still haven't got a knife yet, have we? How do people do this? Or do they not do Leon's playthrough second run knife only? Because I haven't seen one yet. Uh, we don't need the box yet, and if we do, we can just come back and get it. Key up there. We now have the flash grenade on us, so we can use that if we have to. Uh, okay, so we use the full heal. Uh, should we save it now? Yeah, I feel like Mr. X is warrants a save. Because we might get injured just leaving this room, you never know. Okay, so Mr. X's footsteps have stopped because he's heard us. back up. I swear, I've had, <laughs> when I first played this game, I had nightmares of him stepping through these safe room doors. You know, getting your crit would be lovely right now. Is he this way? I hope he's not this way. I really hope he's not this way. Uh, okay. If we unlock this door, we at least have another route to escape him. Okay. We don't have any of the dalliance yet. All these guys should hopefully be dead. She should probably unlock that door and get some ammo as well. I also don't know if Mr. X can hear you if you're in the central room. Obviously, he can see you because he can track you down when you're in the room. But I don't know if he can hear your footsteps in the central room. I guess we'll find out if we encounter <laughs> God damn it. I didn't hit the space bar quick enough. Okay, got the book. Let's run. Pretty sure there's a knife here. Yep. It's our first knife. Oh. Hello. We are gonna quickly pause the game, guys. Uh... Sorry about that guys, uh, 
I paused the video because there was an issue with the recording and then almost immediately after stopping the recording to try and fix the problem, uh, my computer crashed. So we are currently loaded from the previous save. I don't quite remember all the details of what happened. Um, I don't know if the zombies here are still dead. Oh, that guy's up there, so I'm assuming not. Um, I think it's gonna flash grenade. Hope that we aren't running in. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say that hopefully we don't run into Mr. Rex, but uh, we did literally run into him. We're just lucky he got hit with a flashbang. Uh, okay, let's re unlock this door. I believe last time I asked if uh, Miss Rex can hear you when you're in this room. I guess we will find out if I start running around here. Then we'll know if he hears us because his nearest way to the central room is that door. So I guess we can answer the question now. Oh. Well that answers the question guys. He can track us. Uh, that does make me think that I screwed us over for this library bit, though. Uh, okay. Run. Book. Okay, we didn't get hit this time, so we, it's an improvement over last time. We just are uh, being stalked the entire time this time. Uh, hopefully he doesn't just go up the ladder. I oh, know he hasn't lost track of us. Okay, uh, going this way. Do we have the electric gadget with us? We don't. Hmm. In that case, we are going to. This is a mistake, but I want to experiment. Can he see us if we just hide behind this? Well, no. If we get hit. Or if he comes around this corner and we can react quick enough. What was that breaking sound? I have no clue. Uh, I might have been this guy dropping down a bit lower. I'm assuming we just heard him go through one of the... Yeah, he went through that door. Okay, um... I don't remember if we've unlocked that door. Assuming we have, we can get the unicorn medallion. And we can also pick up... Oh no, we can't. Well, we can pick up that box there. And we will get the medallion in that room. So, yep. Yeah, uh uh, all right, because it says it in the book. Because I don't want to pull up the book again, I'm just going to look at my notes. It is boy and girl, a harp, bird. Or am I looking at the wrong one? Aha, I am looking at the wrong one. I know it didn't seem right to me. So it's the boy and the girl, it's the scales, and then the snake. The little snake. The little weird little one. There we go. Alright, okay, so there is the Unicorn Medallion, the first of the three. We can also pick up this box and examine it. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, I hope there'll be something better in there than that, but I guess there wasn't. Uh, I'm, yeah. So because Mr. X appears in this hallway for Leon, uh, there isn't a liquor in this hallway. Makes it much easier to just feel comfortable running through. Um, is there. Okay, so there's nothing in here except the magnum through there, which we need the stars patch to get. Okay. In that case, we are going to head over to the other side of the police station where the statue is that you put the statue arm on. 
Pressure B, we won't get attacked again. Um, okay, just gonna run past all these guys. Hope we don't run into Big Boy Mr. X. Doesn't look like we will. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? I'm genuinely confused. That door's still open. I don't know why or how. But I don't know where he is. Uh, okay. In that case, open that door. Uh, we'll discard the keys, it's waste. Oh, I missed. God damn it. Okay, well, I ain't risking it. Full heal. What the? Gives us the shotgun. Now yeah, we read this last time. We'll take the statue arm, combine it with the book, and immediately get the jewel. I forget, do we have the box? I think we got the box last time, didn't we? Or well, earlier, I should say. Okay, so this gives us the scepter, which we're going to immediately examine to get the jewel. We are now going to probably die. Okay, no, just injured, okay. Okay, we can get past him. Yep. Oh god, oh god, no, oh no. Oh no. Okay. As long as we don't run into Mr. X, then there's always one thing that could have been worse. Now that I hear his music, I'm not feeling very hopeful about our chances. Where is he? Where is you guys can hear his? Well, he's disappeared now, but you guys could hear his music too, right? Where is he? Where is he gone? He always sounds like he's in the distance, but I have no clue where he is. Is he glitched upstairs or something? Where is he? I don't know, but I'm going to pick up this ammo because we need it. Is he glitched out somewhere? Like, seriously, I... He always sounds partially distant. Um... Well, we have the thing for the shotgun in the safety deposit room, so we'll go there. Okay, we're just gonna yeah, run past him. There's a guy there. Hello. I forgot we left a guy in here. Is he okay? Okay, well he's starting to go the wrong way, so that's great. Shit. Okay. We can pop that in. Yes, thank you. 
which gives us 17 shotgun rounds total and the shotgun to go with them. Now we should be able to better cope with ammo and stuff because if there's a wide group of enemies we can use the shotgun and then the gun can be used for small groups. Okay, I was partially hoping I'd get a crit on one of those guys. Just because you know, a crit would definitely make sure I don't feel uneasy next time I come through. Let me put that extra one there. Right, we can combine those two, which gives us the first badge. Oh, nice. Which means we can go and get the magnet. I don't have a heal on me, and there are three zombies on that stair, so I'm going to back in. Uh, take the regular full heal. Full heal. We won't take the damage negation one. Take the mag ammo because it will technically be loaded into the mag straight away. Oh, why am I okay? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna walk past that one. There shouldn't be anyone up here. I don't remember leaving anyone up here, other than that guy, who I'm fairly certain never gets up. And the same with that guy. Okay, so we go in here. We need to turn the star's badge into the star's USB stick. Which is honestly just, you know, it's fun. I feel like you'd lose your badge too easily, but it's probably convenient for them on their everyday today. Okay, uh, we're going to go in. We're going to grab the magnum. Look at that, baby. And we're going to read this. Wait a sec. Oh, yeah, that's Chris Slayer, which. Uh, is encoded. I don't know how it's encoded. I've never really researched into it, but it's encoded to have a. Oh, he's not glitched. Okay. Well, at least we know he's not glitched and he's still hunting us. At least we know that now. Okay, we're just gonna keep running, not get stuck in any walls, and definitely not have any issues with the guy downstairs. go in here. See, I don't want to abuse safe rooms just because the game's much more fun and entertaining if you actually play the game. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep that with us for now. Just to organise it, we'll do that. Just to fill up my ammo. Shouldn't need that yet. We can save those up. Uh, do that. Reload the shotgun. Uh, instantly go straight back out there. Oh! Well, that was a surprise. Well, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This isn't going well. You butthole. Well, right guys, I'll be honest with you. I was not expecting to get thrown out the door and for him to just be standing there. Uh, I feel like he usually walks away in the time that it took. We took in that chest. <laughs> right, that just means I guess I guess we're on a timer for this next bit. We want to run in, immediately set off the uh, explosion thingy, uh, and then go through that door. Hopefully, it should all happen without the tyrant getting us. Right, run, 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 run. Go through this door. And then we run in. Run, 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 run. I don't like the fact that we just heard sprinting from somewhere. 
Okay, uh, so this is the goat harp bird. Bird. Yay, we've got a second medallion. Okay, we'll put that there. I am a. Uh, I am a bit surprised Mr. Rex didn't follow us in there, but maybe it was because. I don't know, maybe when we set the explosive gadget up, it like made the game unable to access for him, at least temporary. Uh... Okay, now he comes in. Okay, sorry guys, I just wanted to hit a few of those zombies, do some damage to them, hoping I could get some crits for the next time we end up going in there. But uh, I guess we didn't. Okay, this statue is the crown. Yes. Flame. And the bird. That bird? Yeah, that bird. Alright. With that, we are going to immediately run down these stairs. He is right there, so we're going to have to do all this quite quickly. Now, I don't know how quick or how long this video has been going on for, because it's in two separate recordings. So I'm going to go in here, we're going to say goodbye to our friend Mr. X. I don't have a yeah. I don't have any ammo. I feel comfortable shooting. Yeah, we are completely immune in this safe area. I don't consider this abusing a safe area, just because this is the next stage of the game, and uh, it's not my fault he's not coded to come in this room. All right, we're sealed in now. Okay. Uh, If you guys saw my last playthrough, you know we have another boss fight ahead. But I am going to save that for the next episode. So, with that being said, we're going to do that. Do that. Make some of that gun ammo, which we haven't yet to see in this gameplay. I don't like the fact that I can hear normal zombies, but, you know, not my problem. Okay, with that, guys, thank you for joining me uh, in this video for the first episode of Leon's side of the playthroughs is episode 8 in total of the Resident Evil 2 remake series I believe uh, we have just saved the game with that being said please guys leave a like if you did like the video subscribe if you really liked it uh, give me a comment on how you think I could improve I'm still obviously very new to making videos so anything I can do to help it more entertaining for you guys would always be a good help with that being said, I'm going to let the video fade to black if I remember to edit it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed your little your time in this little corner of the internet. Thank you, and goodbye.